wonder where she could be. Could you guys help me call for Miss Carissa? Yeah, you're gonna help me call? All right, ready? Let's call for her. Miss Carissa! Miss Carissa! Oh, Miss Carissa! Am I late? Am I late? Am no. I late? Did Her I miss timing? Did I miss it? No, you didn't. We were waiting for you. Oh, awesome! Because it's Summerfest! Can you believe it, Carissa? Oh, what? <laughs> it's Summerfest! How awesome! You know what? God's word is so awesome mm -hmm. that we get to learn about it all week long. Yay! That's right. We're gonna learn different stories from God's word. And God's word is all Me. true. That's right. But we are celebrating, mm -hmm. not only because it's Summerfest, but because God created things. What did God create, Corinne? Oh, friends, can you tell me your favorite animal? Hmm. Oh, did someone just say dog? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like dogs. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. And, oh, what about cats? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And tigers. <gasps> Tiger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God created all of those. That's right. God created everything. And hmm. can I tell you something, friends? God created me and you. So hold up your thumbs and point them at yourself. Say, God created me. God, God created me. me. That's right, friends. God created me and Miss Carissa and you. Uh -huh. So today we're going to learn about how God created me and everything. Isn't that so cool? Yeah, I love that God mm -hmm. did that. But I still am ready to celebrate, Corinne. So okay. will you guys stand up and do some freeze dance with us? I love freeze dance. Okay, good. Stand up, everybody. And when the music starts, dance. Okay. And then when we say freeze, what do you have to do? Freeze. Freeze. Okay, okay, I think they're ready. Ready? Here we go. And go. And freeze. And go. And freeze. And go. And freeze. Okay, you guys are all ready. Oh, Miss Corinne, she is so awesome. You know what? We are ready to do worship now. You guys got some wiggles out. You guys are ready to go. So on the count of three, we want you guys to count with us. We're going to kick it to some awesome worship Yay. music. Okay, Corinne. One, One two, two, three. J-E-S-U-S bounce. J-E-S-U-S bounce. J-E-S-U-S bounce. Jesus.
even me and you. Yes, it's true. God made And his name is Chipper. Yep, that's right. So can you guys yell for Chipper with me? Chipper! Chipper! I know how much he loves the pool. I don't know if he's going to get out of it. Chipper! Hey, Chipper, how are you today? Whoa, what are you so excited about? What? Chipper, it's Summerfest, huh? Yep. Chipper is so excited about Summerfest, right, Chipper? There's crafts and there's games and so many fun things, right, Chipper? But what's our favorite thing, Chipper? The Bible story. We love to learn about the Bible. And that's what we're learning about today is we're learning about how, what was that? Yep, God created you. He wanted you guys to remember that, that God created everything, but he really, he created you, which makes you so special and a reason to what? Celebrate, right, Chipper? To celebrate. God created you. Okay, now I need everybody to close their eyes. You got it, Chipper? Okay, close your eyes. Is it dark? Mm-hmm. 
That's because before God created anything, there was nothing. Absolutely nothing. Can you see anything? Nope. But then God said, let there be light. Okay, I'm going to say it and I need you guys to open up your eyes. Ready? Let there be light. And that is what happened. On the first day, God said, let there be light and there was light. And then on the second day, God separated out the clouds and made the clouds. Can you just point it to the sky? He made the clouds. That's right. Mm-hmm. And then God made the land. Can you guys do a little stomp? That's right. Or maybe you could hit the ground. Good job. That's because God created the land, huh? Mm-hmm. Then God on the fourth day created the sun and the moon and the stars. I know. Can you guys point up? All the stars and the sun and the moon. Right. Mm-hmm, Chipper. Now, now we get to all the fun things that God created, right? On the fifth day, God created all of the birds. Can you guys make a bird sound? Oh, that was really good. Tweet, 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 tweet. God also made something else kind of special. God made the sea animals. That's right. Fish and sharks and all kinds of fun things. Huh, Chipper? Uh-huh. That's right. Then on the sixth day, you know what God created? He created all the land animals. He created Chipper. <laughs> yep. Dogs and cats and tigers and bears and all of those fun things. But God created something else that he called very good on the sixth day. And that was Adam and Eve. That was human beings. That was us. Isn't that so cool, Chipper? Mm-hmm. I know. It's so awesome to learn that God created all of these things and everything that we see. So I hope you guys go on a walk today, even a scavenger hunt maybe, and you see all the things that God created. Right, Chipper? Mm-hmm. That's right. All right, it's time to sing our Bible song. The B-I-V-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. Bible. Good job, Chipper. Bye, Chipper. Okay, my awesome friends. It's time for us to read the Bible. Oh, look. Look at all the awesome things God created. Just like me and Chipper were talking about. Before creation, everything was dark and quiet. Remember how you had to close your eyes? But then God shouted, let there be light. And suddenly there was light. On the second day, God said, let there be sky with fluffy clouds in the blue sky. On the third day, God said, let there be land. Hit the floor, right? God made land. Hills and valleys pushed back above the water and God created beautiful, colorful plants and trees that day too. But on the fourth day, God lit the sky with the sun, point up. God made the sun and the moon and the stars. On the fifth day, God commanded, let there be fish in the water. Blub, 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 blub. And birds in the sky. Tweet, 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 tweet. Suddenly, wiggly fish swarm everywhere and beautiful birds flew in the air. Then on the sixth day, God said, let there be animals. Soon amazing creatures of all shapes and sizes. Look at all those amazing creatures God created. God blessed the fish and the birds and the animals and let them swim and run. And he told them, fill up the skies. God created a beautiful new world. Now, never forget who created everything. Who was that again? Who was that again? That's right, God. God created absolutely everything. But now it's time for you guys to grab your pencils, grab your markers, grab your crayons, and let's see what Miss Corinne is gonna color today.
time to see Korean color. <laughs> Hello, friends! It is our first day of Summerfest, and I hope it's been the best day ever. Now, all day we've been learning about God's creation, because God made everything. That's right, God made everything. And do you remember what we said earlier? God even made me and you. Isn't that so awesome that God made me and you and he made us all so different, but all and also one of a kind. There is no one who will ever look exactly like us or be exactly like us. Even if you have a twin, you're different. Isn't that so cool? So guess what? I have my piece of paper and I have my markers. It's time for us to color. Are you guys ready? So today we're going to draw a portrait. Now what that means is we're just going to draw a picture of ourselves. So I'm going to draw a picture of me and I want you to draw a photo of you. Okay. So right here I have a yellow marker because I got yellow hair and I have a blue marker for my eyes and then I have a marker to draw my face with. Okay. So first what we're going to do is we're going to draw a circle for our face. So right here in the middle of your paper, I want you to draw a circle. And this is for your head, okay? There you go. I right, draw your circle. Good job, friends. Now, then I'm going to draw two more circles because those are going to be my eyes. So I'm going to draw one more circle right here and then another circle. And we'll color those in later, okay? Hmm. Wonder what I think we should draw next? Our smile. And now I smile a lot and I like to smile really big. So I'm gonna draw a gigantic smile right here. And you guys can draw a little smile or the biggest smile ever. It's up to you. Cause this is supposed to be a photo of you, okay? So right here, I'm gonna go down and back around. Kind of like when you go in a U, you go down, around and up, okay? So go down, around and up. What a big smile. Now, you see this line right here where I started my smile? I'm going to draw a line going across it just like that. You see my finger and how it's drawing across? So take your marker and just draw across. There you go. Now, I went down and around and up to the other side. I'm going to draw one more line going across. There we go. Look at how big that smile is. <gasps> see my big smile? Looks good, huh? Now, hmm, I'm going to draw my nose. Now, I like to draw noses by just drawing a J. So you start at the top, you go down and around, and then you stop, okay? So we start up here, you go down and around, and then you stop. <gasps> there we go. So go ahead and draw your little nose, or you can just draw a line or two dots, whatever you like, okay? Because remember, this is supposed to be a photo of you, because God created you, okay? Now we get to start filling it in. So think, look at your hair. Maybe you got short hair, so you're gonna draw spikes. Or maybe you have really long hair, so you're gonna draw long lines. Or maybe you have like two ponytails on the side of your head or one big ponytail. Whatever you got, figure out what you wanna draw, okay? So I tend to have really long hair and I wear it down. So I'm just gonna draw lines on this side and then this side, and I'm just gonna make them curly, okay? But if you have spiky hair, you can draw little mountains or little M's. We draw those all the time. You can draw lines, whatever you want. Just make it look like you, okay? So here, I'm gonna start drawing my hair, and I'm gonna draw lines all the way down, and you can make them as long or as short as you want. And you gotta, we tend to have a lot of hair, so you've gotta really draw a lot of lines. Whew. It's a lot of lines. All right, now to the other side of the head, okay? Even more lines. Keep going, friends. And remember, just draw whatever you have on your head or whatever you want. Hmm, maybe you wear hats. You could draw a hat on your head. Whatever you want, friends. All right, there we go. So I got all my hair. I got my smile. I got my eyes. But now I want to fill in my eyes. You see? I have blue eyes, some people have brown eyes, some people have green eyes. Whatever color you have, they're all pretty and we can draw them all, okay? So I'm gonna take my blue mark crayon and I'm gonna draw a blue circle inside 
and then I'm gonna fill it in, okay? There we go. So I drew a blue circle inside and I'm filling it in. So like I saying, some people have brown eyes or green eyes, or maybe you have a mix of colors, whatever you get, that's okay. You can still draw them. Cause guess what? We have blue, we have green, and we have brown crayon. So how awesome. Hmm. I think that's a pretty good self portrait. What do you think friends? You like it? All right, question. Does it look like me? Thumbs up if you think it looks like me. Oh, I see some thumbs up. Thank you, friends. Now, I want to see yours. Can you guys put your photos up? I want to see what you drew, okay? <gasps> oh, look at that one. You did so good. <gasps> look at all that spiky hair. Oh, and that hair is so long. <gasps> oh, and look at those eyes. Friends, you guys did so good at drawing these photos of yourselves. Now, Next time you look in the mirror or you're looking around outside, you can be reminded God created everything. He made it all and he made you too. And guess what? You see that friend sitting next to you? He made your friend too. Isn't God so awesome? He created everything. I know God's awesome, right? All right. Can you guys give thumbs up? I want to see your thumbs up. Good job, friend. Hey, friend. We're here to do the memory verse Yay. with you. And we love to know mm -hmm. God's word because everything inside of God's word is true. true. That's right. We don't have to worry if, hmm, is this true? Mm -hmm. No, because God's word is true. Everything. All of it. All of it, right, mm -hmm. friends? And we don't just want to hide God's word in our head. Mm -hmm. Where else do we want to put it? We want to hide know? it in our, oh, hearts. Hearts, yes. Corinne got it. Hearts. We want to hide it in our heart because we want God's word to change us mm -hmm. and that it would be real and that we really believe it. Right, oh, Corinne? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Corinne, I'm ready. What is the memory verse? All right, you guys ready for this? Uh-huh. Lord, you are more powerful than the roar of the ocean. You are stronger than the waves of the sea. Psalm 93, 4. Whoa, that's a long one, I know Corinne. it was, but Whoa. don't worry, because we got the moves to go Oh, we've got it. actions. Okay, I can uh, remember it. I think you guys can too. So let's learn oh, these yeah. actions to this long memory you guys verse. ready? All right, the first part we talk about is Lord. So we're going to point out Lord. Point to Jesus. Okay. So, Lord, Lord, you are more powerful. Now show Ooh, me your muscles. Show me your muscles. Uh, yeah, good job. Yeah, yeah. All right, now we get to Lord because he's more powerful than the roar. Roar! Just like that. Like you're, you're Did you guys roar. do it? Roar! Roar! <laughs> Good job. The roar of the ocean. And now we're going to show our muscles again, okay? You are stronger. Good job, friends. Now we're going to pretend like the sea. So you take your arm and go across the screen like that, like it's the sea. Ooh, fun. And the waves of the sea. Now we hold up the Bible, okay? Psalm 93.4. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. 93.4. I, I need to practice a few more times. Okay. Though. Okay. Do let's do it. Practice? Yep. I'm ready. Okay. okay. So ready? Lord, you, you are, are more, more powerful than the roar of the ocean. You are stronger than the waves of the sea. Psalm 93.4. Good job. Good job. Okay. Let's do it again, Corinne. Okay, I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Lord, you are more powerful than the roar of the ocean. You are stronger than the waves of the sea. Psalm 93, 4. Oh, you guys are so good. Oh, yeah. Okay, Miss Corinne, I think that we need to do it slow. You like slow. Because it's really like a long verse, and I want to make sure that I like really yeah. good. We want it. In our minds yes. and in our hearts. You yes. want it to stay. Corinne, there. you've got this. Okay. Okay, ready? Are you guys ready though? I, I don't think they're ready. Can you guys be a little bit louder, please? Oh, louder. Oh, okay, 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 you guys are ready. Ready? Lord, you are more powerful than the roar of the ocean. You are stronger.